Y'all, my phone does not have the storage for this. I'm also so tired because I just got home from work. It's also so fucking hot because we're in the dead of July and there's a spider on my fucking wall, God damn it! Hold on! I believe it is dead. Lovely. Now, if we could have no more interruptions, that would be great because I've been waiting hours to see this video because I've been at work today. All I want to do is watch John Cook's video because it's literally featuring Lotto. And I think that's an absolutely insane collab that's not being hyped up the way that it should be because that's literally insane. Um, I also have not seen a single spoiler that heard a single spoiler. I saw people talking about the teasers. I know it's him and this woman. They're arguing in a restaurant and a chandelier falls from the ceiling. That's all that I know. I don't know what the song sounds like. I don't know anything about the song. Um... So I'm very, very, very excited. We're gonna, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch the music video once without lyrics and then a second time with lyrics to understand it. <sighs> this aesthetic is gonna kill me. This like baggy, baggy hoodie ripped jeans is just like so college boyfriend of him. This woman is acting. The behind the scenes of this is gonna be insane. Don't get away from him. He is a bomb. Leave her alone. She clearly does not want to put up with your shit. Leave her alone. <laughs> this poor girl just wants to be left alone. <laughs> that lot of rap was so good though. Oh my god. And she looks incredible. That outfit, oh my god. I don't know if they can play that on like, I'm counting or whatever like that. Her outfit is, is like, it's so scandalous. Yeah, the thing is, he's so charming. He's literally just a cut. Like, how do you say no to him? It's, uh, this music video is so American pop artist. What is this wet t-shirt contest, sir? Leave this woman alone. <laughs> she clearly does not want to put up with your shit. Yeah, but you have to because it's literally Jojo John John like, come on! Uh, look at them swinging their arms, that's so cute. <sighs> now I hope none, none of you solo stands are gonna be weird about this music video. It's so mild. This is so cute. What a good song. Y'all, it's all in English. It's literally all in English though. That's insane, especially because his last live where he like spoiled the song a little bit because he was like, lol. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And we were all like, that's weird, but like, seven's like such a BTS number that we're like, okay, maybe he's just being silly. It was a spoiler. It's like, the song? No, okay, wait. Back on, what was I saying? In his life, he was like, yeah, I've been like working on my English, but my English is still bad. And then he puts out a whole fucking song in English. And it's so good. It's so good. It's so fun. It's so, okay. I didn't watch the left and right music video with him and Charlie Puth because as we've discussed on this channel, I don't like Charlie Puth. Um, but it's giving very that, the way that he was in that video, because I've just seen the clips of him in it, is very, it's giving this music video. It's just so American pop artist. The way it's filmed, the way it's shot, the way he's acting in it, the song, the vibes, it's just very American pop artist. But like, not American pop in the way that Bruno Mars is, but American pop in the way that like, Charlie Puth, Shawn Mendes, Harry Styles is. And like, I think that's so interesting because when we think like, who in BTS is like, the American pop girly, we all think Jimin. We're like, Jim is the American pop girly, but it's like, no, JK's the American pop girly. Like, if this song, if they don't fucking push this song on the radio, I'm gonna be pissed. This song needs its radio streams because this song can easily go number one. It's so good. And I feel like this song could be the song of the summer. I know everybody wants their song to be the song of the summer, but I feel like this song could be the song of the summer. It's so fun. It's so fun. And it has a lot of rap break and it's so good. And this music video is so fun. This girl just wants, is, continues to argue with him. And JK is just so unserious. Cannot take a serious, cannot just like match her energy, cannot bring the same passion to the argument. So she's just like, fine, I'm gonna leave. And then he keeps trying to be like, no, but like, hear me out, I'm gonna win you back. And she's just like, leave me alone. And then he literally runs out of the road and gets hit by a car. And then they go to his funeral. He's like, ha, sake, I knew you cared about me. And she's like, this bitch. <laughs> It's such a good music video. I forget, what's her name? The actress in it. Han Sohi. And she's like, I have no idea, who is she though? Is she an actress? Is she a model? Cause she's giving actress. Like the way that she was fighting with him at that uh, laundromat, she was acting. She was getting that, she was acting. 
acting. She's an actress and a model. See, I could clock it. She she has that vibe. She's so pretty and she's so talented. I so oh I by God I'm begging on my knees for solo stands not to fucking be weird and harass her. <laughs> That's what I'm manifesting because I feel like all oh, solo stands are gonna be weird about this. <laughs> and they don't even kiss or nothing. They literally walk away holding hands. It's so mild. So if people go on the line and they be weird, I will be undone. But anyways, this <laughs> this music video is so cute, so fun. I'm so sad though that it's just a single because I would love personally to have bought an album for this song. But the physical CDs are all sold out on the BTS shop, so I can't buy it. I can't I can't support. But what a fun okay, wait, I'm not even done. We gotta go back and we gotta listen to it with the with the words. We gotta listen to it with the words so that I may like fully understand because even though it's all in English, that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> My listening comprehension skills not existed. I love his little rap thing, sub rapper JK. His vocals. Period. He's so obnoxious. She's just trying to run the train. Leave her alone. <laughs> Period. She's fully dickmatized. That's why she can't. That's why she can't say no to him. <laughs> it's so slutty. This song. It's so good. You wrap around me, bro. This song is insane. Actually, sorry. I wasn't fully listening when he was singing the first time, and now I'm like, is that what he said? You wrap, yo. <laughs> He said, I'm sick and tired of y'all babying me. Actually, I am a whore. <laughs> Good for Jungkook. Good for JK. That line's so good. That line's so good. <laughs> this bitch cannot catch a break. <laughs> no, this song is so good. <laughs> I love slutty songs. I love adult K-pop as the girlies on Twitter like to call it. Like card type music. Card would have put out something like this. Matthew would write something like this. It's it was so good. <laughs> NCT would write something like this. <laughs> Truly. Because that's the only explanation. It's, first of all, it's Jungkook. How do you say no to that man? He's literally begging on his knees to be like, please. And he'd be giving to you seven days a week. Like, how do you say no? <laughs> so good y'all i say this with literally every one of their solo works that comes out this one's my favorite i literally just said that about jimmy's when it came out because jimmy's is so good but this <laughs> i know i'm very biased because it's all in english and i'm also very biased because i i say time after time i'll be loving you right but also i love adult k-pop music i love card i love nct specifically 127 127 type music where i'm just like it's a song for adult K-pop fans. It's not for it's not for the teeny boppers. It's for us grown folk. It's for us. And I'm like, yes, uh, yes, John Cook. He said, I'm tired of y'all baby me. I'm tired of y'all being weird when I get on live and I have a drink in my hand. So I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I'd be out here <laughs> in the <them> streets. <laughs> good for him. This song is so good. <laughs> This song is so good. This song is incredible. First of all, I love a fun pop song. I feel like a lot of music loves to be like introspective, wordy, very lyric forward, which I, I love those songs. But I feel like we're not getting fun pop songs anymore. Everybody wants to be like a serious songwriter and nobody's just making a fun pop song anymore. How many pop girlies do we have anymore? They are dwindling in numbers. So the fact that JK came out here and he was like, no, actually I'm gonna make the song of the summer, the fun pop song with featuring Lotto. I, I have nothing but thanks for him. I need him to get on live actually right now. I need him to get on live right now because the song is so good. And I am so pissed y'all. He's literally gonna be performing in New York today. Today, July 14th, and they didn't tell us until last week. Do you know where I live? The West Coast. You know what that is? The opposite of where he's going to be. And if they told me a little bit in advance, I was gonna fucking be there. But I'm gonna miss it. Just like I missed Hobie Palooza. I'm praying. Oh my god, I'm manifesting with everything in my being and everything in my soul that he performs somewhere else. That he gi he gives us one more performance somewhere in LA, please. I am begging him. I will pay whatever it takes to go see this song live. I don't care if he has literally no other songs to give us. If he just performs this song like seven times in a row, I will be happy. 
I just need to see this song live because the fact that I missed Jimin's performance, his live performance in New York, and I missed Hobie Palooza, and I'm gonna miss this one, is breaking my heart. They never want to give us enough notice when they're performing. And they always want to perform in New York. And I'm like, I don't live anywhere near New York. It's bad enough that you all never come here and I have to go all the way down to LA. Like, but the fact that it's not even on the same coast, it's disrespectful. And it's honestly breaking my heart because the song is so fucking good. Like, I did not know what to expect from Jungkook because, like, I've listened to a lot of his solo work and I just left it right. And I was like, it's, I don't know. I, don't get me wrong. I think Jungkook is incredibly talented and I love all of his solo songs that he's, like, done with BTS. Like, my time is absolutely fucking incredible. This is very my time. And I love you for it. Everybody loves you for it. But, like, left and right, I was like... But I was also like, maybe that's just Charlie Puth. Maybe that's just because I don't like him. This song is absolutely fucking incredible. Literally, the song of the summer. If they don't fucking push this on the radio, I'm gonna be so mad. Because it's such a good song. It's such a good song. It's an insane song. I can't... I can't believe that he he made this song. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm dying to know what the members think of this song because it's so good, <laughs> but it's also insane. For him to put this out, like, because it's just, like, it's so antithetical to his image. Even though I feel like if you're with it, you understand that, like, yeah, John Cook is a grown adult. He's been a grown adult for, like, a really long time now. But the way that his image is still, like, oh my god, cute, ooh, golden magne, like... The fact that he put out a song, he was like, no, actually I'm a whore, surprise. And I'm like, good for you, good for you. It's it's just so great and I love to see him expand as an artist. I just love seeing where all their solo projects are taking them and where they like want to expand as like a personal artist. And the fact that his like song is an all English song, like that's crazy. That's crazy to me that he would do that. That of all the members to like have a like push for an all English track to be like their thing, Jungkook? That's kind of crazy. Like, I get it, especially because I feel like a lot of his, like, influences are very American-leaning. It makes sense, especially with the whole left and right moment, but I'm just like, wow. It's just so good. I really do like this song, and I wasn't, I, like, I didn't, I truly came into this with no expectations. I was like, maybe it's just gonna be, like, a fun song, and I will like it, but, like, this is, like, my one of I don't know it's so hard to compare all the solo works because they're all so different this song it, it, it's it's not even comparable to Jimin which is the closest pop sounding album out of all of the solo works that they've had but even like Jimin's pop sounds nothing like Jungkook's pop and like that's incredible and I love that for all of them um this also means though that we are only waiting on Taehyung and his fucking solo album that he's been promising for like the past five years and I'm really excited to see what that is. I know it's gonna be jazz. I know it's gonna be a smooth jazz album with lots of trumpets and I'm I'm excited for it even though that's not my vibe. I just wish that we got more. That's the only thing. It's like I don't want them to be like overworking themselves. I'm hoping that they're like taking the time that they need during this break but I'm also just like damn this song is so good. I wish we got more. I wish we got like a full like even just like a mini album from Jungkook because I feel like this song is so good and all of his solo work has been so good like my time is incredible. Still with you. Incredible. Euphoria. Incredible. But I feel like this and I just hope that this is really like going to set the precedent for what BTS music will be going forward because I feel like now that like they're all sort of reaching their 30s and that like some of them are already into their 30s we need to be making more music like this we need to stop those weird solo fans who are like actually you're not allowed to have a relationship because actually what do you mean these are grown men these are grown men and I love when artists put out music like this to be like actually no I'm I'm grown and we're going to stop with that weird baby narrative starting today. <laughs> I just love this song. I love this song and I, oh, I realized that he's gonna be a good GMA. I gotta wake up so early because it's gonna be East Coast time so that I don't miss it. I didn't think about that. Okay, anyways, um, I don't even think I'm gonna post this. I just make these for me, but uh, absolutely incredible song. <laughs> I was just, y'all, I was just violently reminded that there's an explicit version of this song. There's an explicit version of this song. What is he gonna say? What is he gonna say in the explicit version? If he, I'll rap. What is he gonna say? <laughs> I'm scared. I am scared now. The explicit version's already out. We have to, I didn't realize that. I need to listen to it right now, actually. There's no lyrics. I guess I just have to listen to it and just understand and like comprehend if what, what he says that's different. I'm scared. I'm so oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh 
no, 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 no. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone, calm down. Everyone, everyone, calm down. Everyone, calm down. Everyone, calm down. Everyone, oh, I got to I can't talk about this. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to go that crazy. That's insane. That, no, actually, actually, we've gone too far. Actually, we've gone too far. What about my mental health? What about my mental health? Why would you do this? I, I feel like I'm dying. I feel like, I feel like someone's punched me in the stomach. I feel so unwell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't think we were gonna go that crazy. Like obviously there was a euphemism there, but I thought that was like on, on purpose to be cheeky. I didn't think we were just gonna say fuck in the in the chorus. In the chorus? Sir? Oh my god. He needs to get on weaver's up right now and explain himself, because that's that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> No, absolutely not. I can't listen to this version. This song's insane. This man is insane. This man is out of his fucking mind. I want to like throw myself off a bridge. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Is this man out of his goddamn fucking mind? <laughs> Who let him release this song? Who let him release this song? Who in the big hit entertainment building said, let's put this song out? This is crazy. This man has lost his fucking mind. Especially since I'm assuming this is his last solo work and then he's gonna dip. He's gonna go to the military and be like, ah, sorry, I just wrote the most insane song in the BTS discography. I gotta go. <laughs> Cause like BTS have written PG 13 type songs, but it's all been like euphemistic. It's still been vaguely family friendly. This is crazy work. This is crazy. This is, as I said, some BM from card type shit. Says she want more than the tip I talk about guidance. That's what this is. But even then, like, even then, I feel like that level is the clean version. To go right in the chorus and be like, yeah, night after night, I'll be fucking you right. You'll be what, sir? Excuse me? <laughs> this song's crazy. This song is insane. <laughs> he has lost his goddamn mind. He's been hitting the gym too much. Not enough blood to the brain. All the blood to the muscles, not enough blood to the brain. He's going, he's, he hasn't thought this through. That's insane. That's insane. You know why? Because there's no reason to have an explicit version if you're not going to perform the explicit version. If you're not going to be like Yoongi and go in concert and perform the explicit version. I don't think I'll be able to survive going to the BTS concert in 2025 and having their solo stages, and having him come on stage and sing this. I don't think I'll be able to do it. I don't think I'll be able to do it. Because they've never been so bold. They've never been so bold in a BTS song. They've never... Like... This is crazy. This is crazy. That is fucking crazy. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm now scared because it said in the Weavers like update that like this song is coming out and that like look forward to his promo like like his solo shit to come. What else? What else is coming? I'm afraid. Like deeply. Like I have chills. I'm afraid. I like, I am like deep in the fear. <laughs> like because this song is insane. <laughs> the explicit version is crazy. I don't know who let him put that out. I don't know who said that was cool. I don't know. I I know all the members are losing their minds right now because I lose my mind. I don't know who let him do that.
The baby. See, I literally was just like, I love how people aren't babying him anymore. They, he's putting on something more mature. And now I'm like, absolutely not. I'm clutching my pearls. Dude, no, not my baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> In the court? That is crazy. I am, whoo, whoo. I gotta, I, I gotta lay down. I gotta lay down. I do it, I do it, I do it, I do it. Also, 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 also. In the clean version, he says, it's the way that we can ride. Like, like we ride for each other. In the explosive version, he says, you. The way that you can ride. I knew I was hearing a difference, and I was like, maybe he just said that in the, in the clean version. No. <sighs> I knew I was hearing something different. I just went back and played it, and I was like, did he say you? In the no, he did not. He said, we, in the clean version. It's the way that you can ride. This man's fucking lost his mind. Why would you do this to us? Why would you do this to us? <laughs>